What's up guys, Pog here, and welcome to today's video where I'll be unboxing the all new iPhone 13. This one here is in the midnight color, which is pretty much the black iPhone 13. Right here on the right side, you do have the iPhone. On the top, you have the Apple logo. Now I have done an unboxing on the Sierra Blue iPhone 13 Pro Max, and you can see right here, the Apple logo does change upon whichever color it is. As you can see, it's all changing, which is pretty cool. But you may also notice that these iPhone boxes no longer have the plastic wrapping around it. So we don't really have that awesome, satisfying peel, unfortunately, but we do have a newer way to open these boxes. But anyway, on the top of the box right here, we do have the new look of the iPhone 13 camera from the 12. I mean, now it's like this. The phone does stick out just like before right there. The camera is actually sticking out here even on the box, like even the lenses, which is pretty cool. And Apple logo on the bottom, iPhone on the left, here on the top as well as on the right. So with the iPhone 13s, you get the white box. And then if you get the pro model, you will get the black box. If you look here on the back, this one does have the newer way to open the box. We have this pull tabs on the top as well as right here on the bottom. This is also in the 128 gigabytes iPhone 13 midnight. So let's get this opened. This is not as soft as the Pro Max I just unboxed. It's kind of stuck. There we have it. Wow. The gloss looks so nice, except it gets a lot of fingerprints. Right here on the back of the top part, you can see the camera cut out. Apple logo is nicely in the center. Let's put this aside. Inside the box, we have the USB-C charging cable with the lightning designed by Apple in California. In here, we have the SIM eject tool, and then we also have some instructions and the Apple sticker, which is also in this newer backing paper thing. Unfortunately, you still do not get the AirPods or the power adapter. Let's put these aside. And here is the iPhone 13 in midnight. Still the same kind of uh, packaging. We have this nice cover protecting the screen that says which button does what. So we have the volume up and down, the silent switch, two antenna bands here, the SIM trays right over here, and then volume up and down. There's the power button, two antennas. There's the top, we have one right here. And then on the bottom, right over here, lightning port and the microphone and the speaker. Let's get this peeled off. So let's power this on while we're looking at the back. Apple logo turns on. As you can see, unlike the iPhone 12 Pro or the 13 Pro with the frost back, right away we have a lot of fingerprints. And that's one thing I just really wish Apple would do is have the frost kind of glass here in the back, but it is a bit opposite. You can see we have the frost kind right here on the camera portion. And then we have the gloss black. But again, the gloss black looks amazing. It is just the fact that you get a lot of fingerprints on it. And I really like the aluminum over here because it does not scratch as easily and it does not get a lot of fingerprints either. But we do have the two cameras over here, True Tone Flash, the microphone, wide and the ultra wide camera, which are now placed like this instead of being on top of one another. And now with the smaller notch as well. Got the earpiece over here on the top. So let's swipe up and set this up for the first time. I'm gonna go with English, Canada. Here we have quick start. So if you do have an iPhone, you can bring it next to it and it'll transfer all the stuff you have from that phone into here or wirelessly, which is amazing. But I'm gonna set this up manually. I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi here, type in the password, I'm gonna hit join. We had the same kind of message with the um, 13 Pro Max, but once I hit next, it's all good. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. And while we're waiting for this, let's get the SIM eject tool out and look at the SIM tray here. It does have the rubber over here to protect it from like water. Let's put it back. Now the iPhone 13 does not have the 120 Hertz display, unfortunately. So swiping it up, I can definitely tell it a little bit, honestly. 
Um, the other one just felt much more quicker with the 120 hertz. Let's set up Face ID here to easily unlock the iPhone. And unfortunately, we still do not have the Touch ID from the iPad Air or the new iPad mini. Let's go continue. Face ID is amazing. It's just, I find it uh, a bit hard to use to use Apple Pay. It's just what we're going through, having the mask on and having to have my Apple Watch nearby all the time. It's just annoying. Whereas if I just had it, I could just, you know, use my thumb real quick to unlock the device. And uh, yeah, I really wish they will had included the Touch ID. Let's go with uh, Face ID setup. Really easy to set up Face ID. Hit continue. Face ID is now set up. Gonna type in the passcode. Apps and data, so we can restore from iCloud backup, restore from a Mac or a PC, transfer directly from iPhone, move data from Android, don't transfer apps and data. That's what I'm gonna go with. We can log into our iCloud. I'm gonna do that later. Set up later in settings, don't use. And I love how the iOS always has the one that you should use in like a blue. So you kind of want to click this thinking that's the end, but it's not. We're going to hit don't use. Going to agree to terms. Keep your iPhone up to date. Here we have the iMessage. Continue. Locations and services. Enable. And let's set up the Siri, which is now different because you can have four different voices and you can ask it to choose for you. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. This is the one we're choose using. Let's go like next. Me. Siri. Siri, send a message. Siri, how's the weather today? Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Siri, play some music. Siri is ready. Hit continue. We can always hold the power button here to enable Siri. Gonna go for not now. Screen time. Don't share for now. And then here we have appearance. This being the midnight color, I'm gonna go with dark. I mean, I prefer the dark mode. Let me know guys which one you prefer. Hit continue. We have the display zoom. So whichever one we prefer, I'm gonna go with standard and welcome to iPhone swipe up. And here we have the iPhone 13 all set up. Let's go over here to the settings, general software update, and it's ready to be updated to the new iOS 15, which is awesome. You can now have a lots of features with iOS 15. In fact, my iPhone 12 Pro Max is running iOS 15 right now, which I really like. And we have the Safari here. Let's hit continue. And while we're here, why not to quickly go over here? Let me know guys, what do you think with the search bar here on the bottom? You can obviously change it. And then we'll go over to the videos. And I wanna see if I can tell the difference between the 120 Hertz. So let's see how it goes. So let me know guys, if you can see the, the oh yeah. <laughs> let's try that again. Yeah. <laughs> Like, look at this. So let's go over to the same portion. So check this out. It is so smooth on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Well, this iPhone 13 Pro Max and the Sierra Blue will be my daily phone. And yeah, the 120 Hertz, thank you Apple for bringing that in. And here's the iPhone 13 next to the iPhone 12 Pro. You can see the difference in the notch size. It is quite small and noticeable. I do wish Apple would include the battery percentage so we can at least turn that on so we can see the battery percentage without having to swipe down like this to see it. But other than that, I mean, for the first time, I also ended up grabbing a pink case. Just how it goes. But here we have it. It's the iPhone 13 silicone case. It's the chalk pink. Let's open it up. It's a really off pink. So it's kind of, uh, you can tell it's a pink, but on a, during like a sunlight, it kind of looks like a whitish. Let's see what the uh, midnight looks like in this. 
does of course have the mag safe so we should get that animation right there which is awesome does cover the screen here you can see and the camera bump and that's what the midnight looks like inside of the pink case Siri open photos can it not now Siri what do you think of the iPhone 13 the iPhone is the smartest phone out there Siri that's smart of you to say that she doesn't understand that Siri open camera here we have the photographic style, so we can go with uh, choose style, and you can pick. Standard, and then of course we have the ultra wide, as well as the wide. You also have the cinematic. Well, I do hope you guys enjoyed the quick unboxing of the iPhone 13, and also this new pink case. I mean, it looks pretty nice, but I don't think it's the one I'm gonna keep. I did end up also switching it just like on the other iPhones. You can go between dark mode and then the light mode. So whichever one you prefer. But that being said, I wish Apple would have included the ear pods as well as the USB-C power adapter. Unfortunately, they didn't, but thankfully I do have it. That being said, I'll see you guys next time.